everybody welcome back to the channel today we are making mango salsa let's get started okay folks so what you're gonna need from this one is one red pepper three mangoes some cilantro a jalapeno a red onion one lime and some salt let's get to the creation all right so I went ahead sliced the jalapeno into little uh, small discs now what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna cut these in pieces okay you can take the seeds out or you can leave the seeds in it doesn't matter either way on this one it's going to be your preference but i need to make smaller pieces out of this jalapeno plays a really small part of this whole thing I'll take that big centerpiece out. That's too much seed for me. There we go. And I'll get that other piece. Perfect. Little tiny pieces. Gonna take it, gonna throw it in the bowl. That's all we're doing with it. Gonna throw it in the bowl. We're gonna move on to the pepper. I'm gonna take your pepper. Everybody can see. Take your pepper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, slice down the sides. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut around. And I'm going to get those seeds out. Okay, we open it up. Take the seed ball out. I'm go ahead. I'm going to take the rest of these seeds out. Cutting out the white part. So I don't like any of that. Go ahead, we can slice that right out of there. So I'll bring it back to the next part. Okay, now that we've got all the seeds taken out of all of that, same thing. We're gonna go ahead and cut this into smaller pieces. I cut down the middle, or I try to. Sometimes you gotta cut the ends off. Just make a little room for you to do it. I think you get the idea. Then with these, same thing. Smaller pieces. You want smaller, fine pieces. Little pieces, tiny pieces. Make sure they're all broken up, but that's what you want to have. Really, really tiny pieces. All right, now I'll move to a slightly bigger knife for the cutting of these. Then for the chopping up, I'll go back to the smaller one. Sometimes these can be very tough to cut.
But I'm in enough slices in that one. It'll come apart. But if you get in there with a fine knife just to cut around. But, uh, yeah, for the most part. Yeah, as we speak, it gives me a hard time. But, uh, no, it, it should be uh, pretty easy after you make your cuts. I might have to go back through it another time, like I'm doing now. I call the mango a stubborn fruit. That's what I call it. But it'll come apart. You'll make it. It'll happen. So let's get these done and proceed to the next step. Also, another way of doing this, folks, if you do not want to go ahead and make those little slices and make your little cuts like that, you just go ahead and shave it. But you got to hold it steady. And then you can go ahead and start shaving away at it. See what I mean? If it gets a little stubborn, just move it around. Shave what you can. Then you go back with a little knife, get a little more. Mango's a stub stubborn fruit for sure. But mmm, it is delicious. All right now you have your mangoes cut up. Now you're gonna do pretty much what you did with the pepper. Pretty much what you did with the jalapeno. You're gonna go ahead and make them into small pieces. Small pieces. Smaller the better. Stubborn fruit to the end. <laughs> but you get the idea. Small pieces. Small pieces. And if you go ahead and you're slicing and dicing, and they don't come out as small as you want them, just go back through them again. That's all. Keep it simple, folks. Keep it simple. Okay, now when it comes to the red onion, same thing. You're going to cut it. And I'm going to do half to start. But you're going to do half a cup of red onion, and it's going to be chopped into fine bits, just like you did the jalapeno, the red bell pepper, and the three mangoes. So however you want to go ahead and cut it, you go ahead and cut it. You got to make sure that you have tiny bits. A lot easier than the mango, right folks? <laughs> Working with the mangoes. What a pain. But they're the dish. So that's what you got to do. Got a couple of big pieces. We got to chop up. And you just go back through, and you see which ones need to be cut a little more. Like I said, I did about half of the red onion. Cut about half. We're making our little pieces. Okay.
There you go. Half a cup. That's all you need. This other stuff I'll be using for another recipe. Next, we're going to be doing a quarter cup fresh cilantro leaves. Okay, quarter cup. We'll eye it. See what we can do. Again, you can make the smaller pieces, cut them up. That'll work the best. It's kind of with this dish, you have to think small. But you get a large portion out of it. No stems. I try not to do the stems, just the leaves. That's all you want, just the leaves. And again, fine pieces, finer the better. We are almost there. Yeah, you could probably pluck them off if you wanted to, but most likely you're going to get some of that stem, so. Try to just take the leaves right off. We are almost there, folks. Almost there. You're probably like, I thought this channel was about simple dishes. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, the prep work is, is something on some of these. But, I mean, it's really, it's a simple dish if you think about it. It's really easy. The ingredients are simple. Everything about this is simple. So, we're going to put those in. I'm going to put that in, that's it, I'm going to mix it in, and that's that. Now, we're going to take your lime, I'm going to cut it in half, okay, another quarter, you want to try to have no seeds here, okay, here we go, salt, grab our salt, Do a little quarter teaspoon of salt. Bam. Done. Okay. Squeeze the lime in there. Squeeze the lime. Try to make it even as possible. Okay. You cut it into four halves. Squeeze that lime. So make sure you don't get the seeds, obviously, in here when you're doing this. I can tell you I've got the seeds right right in front of me. And one of them that I squeeze, so it's, it's good. Nothing fell in there that shouldn't. All right. Go ahead. And you're going to mix that all up. Mix that all up. Now with this dish, you can add more. Or you can delete more of what you're putting into it. Um, with this right here, I should be able to feed probably, <laughs> you know, four people or more. Uh, I'm going to be giving some of this to my friend Peggy. It gives her another idea of another dish to be uh, bringing to holiday meals or, or doing for herself. So that I would uh, bring her over some. So that's what I will be doing. Okay, now you're going to take this, leave it in the bowl, cover it. With saran wrap and you're going to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours you want all of that stuff to get chilled down before you serve it let's get that okay everybody so it has been almost 24 hours and we've taken our mango salsa out of the fridge the longer you leave it in the fridge the more all the juices come together and you're going to get that awesome kick in the salsa i did uh five hours 
and handed it out to a couple of people, and then the rest has been marinating overnight. So it is all good to go. Even at five hours, it's it's good to go. But you definitely want to refrigerate it right away and not eat it right after you've made it. It just tastes better. You can use this with chicken, turkey, fish, and it goes excellent with wild game. So, from my kitchen to your plate, let's salsa.